everyone, welcome to Michael's blog in the Philippines. Today I'm going to talk about why I believe that Facebook and apps rule the Philippines. And sorry for the noise in the background, we got some people walking by. Um, unfortunately, our neighbor is, neighborhood is a, a very busy street, so you're going to hear noise probably in almost every video. So I'm just going to get over it after this particular video that you're going to hear noise. And if you don't like hearing the noise, you don't have to watch the video. Totally up to you. But uh, with that being said, I really do believe that Facebook and apps rule the Philippines. When I first arrived here, that was probably the most difficult thing for me to accept because I don't like Facebook. You know, in, in, in America, you know, almost every company got their own website. So you can just go on their website and find their information. So if you want to find a restaurant, super easy. Go to their website. If you want to call them, go to their website. If you want to find out about their business, go to their website. Very simple. Here in the Philippines, a lot of companies do not have a website. In fact, their main way of advertising is through Facebook. So when you really want to find something, it doesn't even have to be a restaurant, almost anything. You can, you can be guaranteed you can probably find it on Facebook. And that was a big issue for me because I, like, I wasn't really familiar with Facebook like that. And I know that's ironic because I'm a person who deals with you know building websites, doing video editing, all these different components that deal with online stuff. But I really don't touch Facebook. It's not my thing, you know. I try to avoid it. But after about two years, I didn't really have much of a choice. If I really wanted to have a more efficient experience here in the Philippines, I had to develop that skill or ability to understand how to use Facebook. So I eventually got used to it and I was able to find different businesses that I never seen before and really get to experience different types of services. So if you don't like Facebook, get ready for getting comfortable with Facebook when you get to the Philippines, unless you want to go outside and walk physically to every business that you want to see or you want to ask around you could do that but other than that your only option is Facebook now that is starting to change a little bit because when I first got here apps wasn't really a huge thing in Davao like it is now like it maybe it was but I just really wasn't aware so I have to add that little disclaimer there but at least to my pers from my perspective apps wasn't that big of a deal at least when it came to, to restaurants I can definitely speak for that getting deliveries to your house for restaurants there really wasn't an app like that when I first arrived here but now there's a few different companies that can deliver food to your house from different restaurants and we'll get into that in a whole nother video and talk about what those options are but in general Facebook and apps rule the Philippines and it, it goes well beyond just food by the way and again I will go into this in some other video and talk about the different apps that you can use that can help improve your experience here in the Philippines you know, specifically speaking to Davao, I'm not going to speak about all the other uh, cities that are here because I haven't really been to all the cities and there's a lot of cities I could go to and maybe see what the different experiences are. But for that, for Davao, uh, Facebook and apps definitely rule and you need to get comfortable with the idea that you need Facebook in the Philippines and get comfortable with the fact that, you know, the apps can help improve that experience. So if you have an iPhone or Android, you should be able to install most of the apps that are useful here. So um, with that being said, you know, I think I covered everything that I wanted to, you know, um, you know, get prepared to use Facebook if you get here, if you can and get prepared that you might have to use an app as well. Make sure the place that you're, you're staying at has Internet because that could be useful if you know, you're not able to use Internet abroad having internet at the place that you stay at will be beneficial because you can get on Facebook and you can use apps to help accomplish certain services that you want completed. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up and I'll try to make another one if I have enough time, but I, I really want to try to get my practice in using this digital camera more often too, not just my cell phone, even though that is a lot more convenient. And I hope you guys are excited that I'm actually putting out a lot more content this year than I did like the previous year. And it's mainly because of my cell phone, because that's the primary tool that I'm using. But I'm definitely going to try to bring more videos to you guys on my YouTube channel. If you have any suggestions, ideas or questions, let me know. And I hope to see you in future videos on Michael's blog. Until then, have a great day.